going on everybody? I'm Daniel. Welcome back to Frosty Reviews. We're back with a banger, baby. I mean a ba- Did y'all hear that? Sounds like there's somebody in my house. Oh, wait. Oh! It's oh, Kenny hi. Frick. My boy. That's right. Kenny Frick here. Straight from? Del Rio, Texas. Del Rye. Del Rye, Texas. My man. <laughs> Kenny, how you doing today? Doing pretty good, man. What you got in your hand How about there? yourself? I got myself a, a good old shiny oh, shiner box. Man, a good old Texas box. Yep, it's that's right. right there, man. It's damn good. So, yeah, we've been sipping on some shiners today. But when I first moved down here to Houston, about... Well, I've been down here when I first met Kenny about one year ago. You know, I always remember with the first craft beer people tell me to try out. And Kenny told me, hey, this is Mike, you dummy. You need to try out Ghost and the Machine. Ghost and the Machine, baby. And Kenny's like, you will not be disappointed. And I, you know what? I've had this beer, I've had this beer before. I've never actually reviewed it, but I'm very excited to actually review this beer on the channel. But before, Kenny, we get to the beer, today's hat comes from AmarilloHatCompany.com. And as you can see, don't tread on me, badass hat. Go check them out. And today's special... This is the first Zero Foxtrot shirt I've ever bought, and I've never actually had it on a review before, so really pumped up about that. And yeah, Kenny, what kind of shirt are you rocking today? I'm rocking Texas music, because that's what it's all about. Texas country, I love it. And uh, that's what I'm rocking, I rock that. No hat. All day, every day, no hat. Just the helmet that I got on Dang, right now. Dang, the Paco look. Yeah, that's right. That Paco. Paco game, <laughs> All right. As you can see, this is probably my favorite beer label. Honestly, it's really, it's really badass. I mean, they have a freaking skull and the brains are the hops and they didn't shot out the side. I mean, it's just, it's just freaking badass. It's a badass freaking label. Yeah, well, what more can you ask for out of the label? As, yeah. Right. No, the label, dude, is badass. It's freaking badass. So let's talk about the beer a little bit. Ghost in the Machine. It has an 8.5% ABV with 100 IBUs. So I've only had this beer a couple of times, but I don't remember it being that bitter. But 100 IBUs means it's going to be, it should be actually pretty damn bitter. And... This is a double IPA with the, with the style of the IPA is a New England hazy IPA. It has hand, hand selected. Select. It has hand, hand select. It has. What's your three? <laughs> no, I'm ready. Hand selected. It has hand selected Citra hops, and of course, again, this is from Paris Brewing Company. Where is it out of? Shoot, you're actually kidding. I should have had that written down and I did not. Nolens. Is it? Nah. Brassard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for all you folks in Rollins, and I'm sorry for all you folks in Brassard. It's Brassard. It's or or Browsered. Browsered. Or Broussard. Or Broussard, Louisiana. Uh, don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But you know that. what? We'll keep all you Louisianans happy because it comes out of your state. Shall we? The ghost. Or as I like to call it. What do I like to call it? Uh, get him. Get him. G-I-T-M, ghost in the machine. Oh, bro, look how beautiful that freaking is. Oh, my God, dude. Kenny. Like a, Kenny. a nice Look gold. at that. Golden hazy. I mean, it one. looks like freaking lemonade. Yep, that's definitely a step up from 
from what I'm drinking right now, but... dude. Dude, that smells citrus. What do you smell? This is my first it time so featured good. on the Frosty Review Show, so uh, can you know I? It's okay. Just take it. Take take a sniff. <laughs> I definitely feel honored to be here today. God damn, that smells good. Dude, it smells, smells like citrus. Smells like juice. Yeah, All right. It smells like freaking citrus. Um. Man. So I don't know exactly what to do with this, but I don't um, either. <laughs> I just smell the damn thing and say, "Oh, it smells like something." Because, but seriously, I am truly honored to be here today with Mr. Frosty himself. So I really appreciate it, oh, and my uh, my definitely man. a cheers for that. Um, we haven't known each other that long, maybe just a couple years, but it's been a good Frosty friendship so far. Absolutely, so. and cheers to all my Frostos and Frostettes. Cheers, y'all. God, I forgot how fucking good that is. Smooth as cute. Man. Good Lord of mercy, that's freaking good. Dude. <clears throat> I gotta take another drink before I even describe what I'm tasting. Get some blood for him. Smooth is the only word I know how to describe for a beer. This is a definition of a smooth, hazy IPA to me. It just flows so yes. damn good from, from the start to the end. One of my favorites. Dude. No doubt about it. It was actually one of the first beers I recommended to it Mr. Is. Frosty himself. It was the first beer. If it was going to be any hazy, it was going to be get him. Ghost and Machine. Dude. Kenny. And it never fails. So it's... It's, it starts off light, right? It starts off pretty light, and then it hits, you know, you have, like, the citrus flavor in your mouth. But then you get, like, the, 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 after, the after ride is a bit more on the aggressive side, but it's not harsh. And it finishes very nicely as well as it starts. And it's a really dangerous 8. 8.5 8.5. All right, it's a dangerous 8.5 because you don't really know what's going on because it's so damn good. Slight hint of grapefruit yeah. as you suck it down. Mm. Mm. The Paris does it right. That's amazing. Paris does it right. Yeah. Uh, it's a great brewery. Paris, definitely one of my favorite breweries. Yeah. One of the best. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Mr. Frosty here is going to uh, do a review on a, on a beer I brought over that is a collaboration actually between Parish Brewing oh. and oh, Untitled right. Art out of Wisconsin. Oh, wow, that's what um, doing that. And it's a Gulf Coast IPA, double IPA. So. That'd be going down. That's something you guys got to look forward to. Oh, hell yeah. Um, one of the upcoming reviews. And thank you. Thank you, Kenny, for bringing over some beers for me to review on the channel. I appreciate it. You, you know it. You know it, brother. And hey, this guy knows, he knows his way around meats. Just to let you know. He can work a, he can work the meats. Yeah. Yeah, we just finished eating a ribeye steak. Dude, <laughs> so good. Good Lord. Man, it was good. Holy shit. Only the good, good steak. stuff. It was good. They don't call me the meat man for nothing. Damn. No, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, Kenny, here on the channel, whenever we drink a beer, we grade it from a 0.1 to a 9.9. .9. So 9.9 is the max? It's a max. There's no, beer, it, there, huh? there, there's no beer that's a 10.0 right. and there's no beer that's a 0. 0.0. Yeah, that's true. So what would you give this beer? beer and I'm probably going to give it more than 0. 0.0. Oh, so. listen. And you're not going to give it a 10 or a 5. Yeah, 10. I don't 10. know. So. I don't know that I can say it was a perfect beer. This sucker this, this sucker on my chart, my palate scores pretty damn high. Woo. Yeah. 
Now the highest I ever gave was a 9.7. And that was to a, have you ever had Ballast Point Sculpin IPA? Of course I have. Okay, that's my favorite IPA of all time. Favorite beer yeah. of all time. So, that's a good draft beer at a bar for sure. Yeah. If they have that on draft. Oh, dude, it's, dude it's so good. Yeah. Now that now I'm 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 being biased by that one because my first that's the first craft beer I've ever had. So I've always it's always had a special place in my heart. So that's my favorite beer of all time. Yeah. All right. So I, 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 I ever since then I based Frosty reviews and every IP I've ever drank off of Sculpin because that was my first experience. Man, nine point seven is pretty high. Yeah. Because I don't know, man. If if no, the that's Ghost was on draft, that's all me. And Sculpin was on that's okay. draft. I'm, I'm taking Sculpin. That's so I'm glad me. you mentioned that because man, nine point seven. No, that's no, damn near perfect. But that's just me. Now you know. Well, I don't know. I this guess I one, got. I have a different rating scale. I'm. I'm giving this one. I'm giving this one a nine point one. Nine point one because it's damn good. And you know what? You pay fourteen dollars for four beers. Sculpin, you pay sixteen dollars for six beers. And granted. It's only a couple dollars Look, less man. or a couple dollars more. But at the end of the day, for me, this is one of the the go-tos for me. When it comes to a quality beer, this beer is fucking great. Well, you know what? I mean, he rated his Sculpin, I think, That's just me. Probably awfully high. high. For a nine point seven, because I definitely choose uh, Ghost and Machine over Sculpin any day at the bar if, if I had the choice. Um, but I don't want to get that close to perfect if the oh, scale is on nine point nine. That's and just me. Sculpin was nine point seven. No, there's no way. That's just me, bro. But like, um, like I said, so let I'm, me put I'm, it. I'm biased on that. Yeah. I'm, bi right. I'm biased on that. I, and I, I, I get that. Um, I want to put it in perspective. Just Please do. Sculpin for me, it just based off what we're having today, Ghost and Machine, I'm going to have to rate Sculpin an 8.2. And uh, I'm going to rate Ghost and Machine right here, right now. I've had it many times. Um, it's going to be a 9.0. Damn, and, uh, straight up. I, I, I just can't go above that because, you know. Would you give it a 9.1 or 8.9? Would you take Ghost of Machine 9.1 or 8.9? No, I'm, yeah, 8.9. If, if I had to choose between 8.9 and 8.1, but I'm going 9.0. I'm going 9.0 gotcha. with the Ghost of Machine. Nine. Solid, solid, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I no, but I get it. I get it. The way, the way I used it, you know, I, I had that, you know, that was so long ago. I've been drinking Sculpin, right? And I've had all those other great beers. I just that was my no, that was my grade. I gave it three years ago when I reviewed it on Facebook back in the day. I haven't reviewed it since. Yeah. But now I've had all these all, all these awesome beers. They might have changed. You know, my, that's true. It might have changed. To that's now. true. But that is still my favorite. Because there's so beer. many. There's so many. There's so many great beers. There's so many great beers out there, so, hey, folks. This was Ghost in the Machine. Y'all go check them out. Parish Brewing Company. And as Kenny always says at work. My snap, sometimes they don't work. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't my snaps work? Dan, it's pretty good. Do it again. Frosty Friday. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. <laughs> That's going to be great. That little end part is going to be fucking <laughs> My man. My man. Oh, fuck, that's gonna be great.